Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy. In today's video, we are continuing the saga of Chris's weight loss journey to goal weight. When he started this 11 weeks ago today, he only had 15 pounds that he still needed to lose. He had already previously lost 40, but as you know, those last 10, 15 pounds are always the hardest. So I thought we would vlog those for you so you could follow along. Remember, there is an entire playlist of this if you wanna go watch from week one all the way till today. So so I'll link that for you in the cards. So if you've not subscribed already to my channel, what are you waiting on? I do weight loss videos. We do what I eat in a day. We talk about dirty fasting, how to break a stall, meal plans, grocery hauls, lots going on. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell. When I upload, you'll know. And if you're not following me on Instagram, I'll have my name down here at the bottom of the screen. You're gonna be able to find before and after photos of my entire family over there. And I do post on my stories daily. There's a Facebook group, All Things Keto with Christy. Make sure you check it in the description box. Go click on it, head on over. 23,000 members, no keto police, and all the support you're gonna need on your weight loss journey. So I'm gonna give a disclaimer. In this video, there will be some non-keto foods because today is my 12-year-old daughter's birthday and she wanted a Harry Potter cake. So we're gonna go pick that up today and I will be having a piece of that myself tonight. Whether Chris does or not, we'll find out later on in the video. So let's go ahead and get started and you guys can hang out with us today. I've been getting a lot of messages lately about which CBD oil I use, so I wanted to go ahead and cover that real quick. I pick up the Santa Cruz Medicinal. This is the CBD infused MCT oil. So this one is keto friendly. It even says right there on the side. The one that I pick up is the 2000 milligram. It is the two ounce container. When I'm having really bad issues with my anxiety, I take it morning and night. I just take a dropper full and I hold it under my tongue for a few seconds until I feel like it's absorbed and then I go ahead and swallow it. Santa Cruz Medicinals has tons of keto friendly products. This is just the one that has worked for me. I do suggest doing your own research and finding what would work for you if you're looking for something for anxiety. But I did want to cover this really quick. I did reach out to them a while back. They gave me a discount code, so I'll go ahead and link it below. Okay, it's already about 10 o'clock. Chris, what did you think about the weigh-in this morning? Uh, a little dissatisfied with it. Uh, I wanted to see a little bit more change, but it was a loss two tenths of a pound so did you cheat or anything this week absolutely no cheat so you didn't fall off plan no did you count your carbs though no so you're basically just doing lazy keto or had been not counting your carbs do you think that might be an issue it could be so maybe try that this week i'll try that this week what have you got in your hand i'm trying something new this morning that one of our viewers left a comment about to try bang with heavy whipping cream i'm going to do it with the purple haze that tastes like grape and I'm not going to put this whole thing in here. I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, the bang and a little bit of heavy whipping cream and try that just to see what it tastes like. Here it goes. Okay, I just tried it. it. Tastes just like a great creamsicle. So obviously, we are not fasting today. It is Briley's birthday. I will be having a piece of cake. Chris and Kerrigan are going a different route. We'll talk about that later. So this morning, you're having the purple haze bang. What does that one taste like? Tastes like grape. Okay, so it's got a grape flavor. Um, this, if you mix the bang with heavy whipping cream, that's obviously gonna break a fast. We're not doing that today. We are though skipping breakfast and that's because we're gonna be eating out. Kerrigan, myself, and Chris are going to go pick up birthday cake and a couple of other things. So we're just gonna have lunch out. So we decided to go ahead and skip breakfast. We will see you in a little while. Bye. Okay, we're getting ready to leave the house to go get Briley's cake, and guess who's going with us? Huh? Kerrigan! Are you guys following her weight loss journey? She decided to start keto again after gaining back how much? 40 pounds. 40 pounds. So if you want to watch our daughter's weight loss journey, she has started her own channel. I'll link it for you guys down below. So we're going to get cake. What's your plan tonight? Are you eating cake? No. No? Nope. I'm having cake. I'm not having cake. Okay, let's go. 
we've stopped by this bakery that usually has keto cupcakes so we're going to go in here see if they have any so chris and kerrigan can have one of those tonight it's called cake buds if you're looking for it, it is in downtown johnson city and they have been on food network several times they had the chocolate keto donuts. This icing is to die for. We don't know the macros or anything like that on the cupcakes. We went ahead and got six for the party. Okay, we've got to run an Aldi really quick because I'm out of jalapenos and salsa. They don't have the salsa I normally get, but this time I am picking this one up because there's no sugar added in it, but two tablespoons is going to be around two to three net carbs. We stopped at Jimmy John's for lunch. Chris got the number five. Which one is this? The Vito. And we get this in an unwitch. So it's just a lettuce wrapped sub. We get a side order of the Kick and Ranch to go with that. If you've not tried the Kick and Ranch from Jimmy John's, you are missing out. It is so good. This one does come without mayo, so I asked them to add it. Unfortunately, I forgot to say no tomato because we both hate tomatoes. So we'll have to either eat that or pull it off. I'm thinking, <laughs> it's going in the garbage. Okay, I'm going to show you what it looks like when he opens it up. I did want to mention I got the exact same thing. And he's got his open. Let's see what it looks like. They double wrap it for you so you can just hold it like a little baby burrito. It's not a baby. And you can see it's just got these huge lettuce leaves that they wrap it all in. I did ask for hot peppers to be added into this because, you know, we like things spicy. And there's what the inside looks like. I just unwrapped mine and I wanted to get a really good close up so you guys could see. These things are huge, they're massive. And there's all the fixings on the inside. I'm just gonna dip mine in the kicking ranch. If you don't have to eat these in the car, don't. They are super messy, but we love them so much and we're not around a Jimmy John's often that when we are, we just go ahead and pick them up. Kerrigan is in the kitchen getting everything ready. She's working on the charcuterie board right now. She's over there making crackers for it. I do have a keto cracker recipe. I'll go ahead and link that in the cards for you down below in case you want to go check it out. I'm over in the corner working on her video that goes out Monday night update. And I'm just going to show you a few things that we have here. Yes, this is Briley's cake. It is not keto. We have some Harry Potter decorations. This is where we're gonna put the charcuterie board. Over here's the gifts. There's the keto cupcakes, which you already saw. I'm gonna zoom in on this in case anybody is in the area and they wanna check out Cake Buds. There's their number. And here is the birthday girl. Do you feel like you're 12 today? No. Do you feel an entire year older? No. 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 What's on your shirt? <laughs> Kerrigan made her the shirt because she loves Harry Potter and she says she's a Slytherin. There's no way this child is a Slytherin. Everybody told me to tell you happy birthday, so you need to say... Thank you. Kerrigan's making the charcuterie board. I will show you what it looks like when she gets done. Kerrigan finished the charcuterie board and this is what it looks like. Everything on here is keto. We just made the keto crackers, like I said. Cheese, nuts, olives, wisps, cucumbers, summer sausage. She has uh, salami, pepperonis, and also some blackberries. Okay, what do you got? A little bit of everything. From the charcuterie board. Oh, you didn't get a cupcake? No. You go get one? Sure. Did you already eat one? Maybe. Did you already eat the cupcake? I ate the cupcake already. Okay, he already ate the cupcake, but he does have a whole plate of charcuterie board goodies, and we're gonna sit down and open presents. Welcome to today's Sip and Chat. Where we're not sipping. But it's we're chatting. A, we will be doing some chatting and some Q&A's. It's about 8.30. We just wrapped up with Briley's snacks. We didn't have a party. It was just us, the immediate family here, and my mother and Chris's mother. That's it. We're not drinking anything, but Chris is going to be eating a snack. We somehow missed dinner because this took place at dinner time. Mm -hmm. So he had charcuterie board. <laughs> Cheese, meats, uh, your homemade crackers. Oh, the homemade crackers that I make that are keto. You had a cupcake. Mm -hmm. 
I had a piece of Briley's birthday cake and then got ill. So I would Her not. My belly hurt. My belly hurt. <laughs> I felt like I was going to be sick. So I wouldn't suggest going off plan for a piece of cake anymore. The rest of this cake will not be tempting me while it's here. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna have, what are you gonna have while we sit here? I'm having glazed donut ice cream. Enlightened Keto. We got this at Publix, was it last weekend? Yes. When they had a buy one get one free, so they were only $3 a piece. The entire pint is only four net carbs for those of you that want to know. Um, no, I will not eat the whole thing tonight. But you'll eat about half of it, won't you? I will. Okay. Not really that much to talk about because we just sat at the table, let Briley open her presents, had some cake. But Chris and Kerrigan, I'm super proud of because they both stayed on plan. I wish I had it now and I wouldn't be sick. We are going to go over some of the questions from last week's video. Remember, if you have anything you want to talk about, just go ahead and put it in the comments below. Anything you want to ask us, any statements, anything you need us to say, just put them in the comments and we'll get to it next week. I know there's a lot of testing questions and we will get to some of the tests eventually we just got so much going on right now i just i really don't have time it is a three hour process to do these blood glucose and ketones tests plus all the editing and stuff like that i, I promise we're going to get to those you've not got to go out metal detecting any because the weather no, the has weather's been, killed my yeah chances going out it's the temperatures have dropped off into the 30s and then one as our high yeah yeah we're not used to this we're from the south. We don't like cold weather. So it's been rainy. We've had snow flurries a little bit and stuff like that. So no metal detecting for you. No. I know you miss it. We have a question from Michelle Martin. And are you a Notre Dame fan? Yes. Have been for 12 Ever. or 15 years, I think. Oh gosh, it's been forever. We like college football more than NFL, but we do like both. We've never been Tennessee fans. Huge Tennessee fans. We have been to some of the games. Yeah, we even once saw Notre yeah, Dame. Yeah, we, we saw uh, yeah, Tennessee play Notre Dame. <laughs> when we first got married, maybe somewhere in there. But yeah, we're Notre Dame fans. Jamie Pack, where did you get the wraps? Sam's. You can get the low carb wraps that we get, the missions at Sam's. You can get a two pack of those. So there's 18 or 16? 16. 16. 16 in them for $6.18, or you can get just a one pack, usually at our Walmart, but they're like $4. Um, some of the grocery stores in our area have them too, but we get those at Sam's because we can get them a lot cheaper. Rhonda wants to know, what is your favorite fat bomb? Mine is the strawberry topped cheesecake. Two net carbs for each one of these. I'm sure you can see that. Those are the new ones from Slim Fast. They have several new ones out. Those have decent ingredients, so they're not considered dirty keto or even low carb. I mean, by the ingredients, I consider them just, just keto. Okay, we have one from Annette. Can you test the Chalk Zero products? No, Annette, we can't. Because we love the Chalk Zero products and I'm afraid of what the test may say. I mean, I would test it, but are you sure you wanna know? Mm -hmm. Do you wanna know? Annette, do you really wanna know? <laughs> I don't think we want to know the answer to that question. Yeah, we have that added to our list. We have the syrups, we have the chocolate, we have all of them added to our list. So, promise. I'm gonna to try to start doing one a week really soon. Oh, my poor fingers. I can do them too, <laughs> not just you. Donna, why is soybean oil not keto? Soybean oil is an inflammatory property and anything inflammatory is not considered keto. It's not that it's gonna knock you out of ketosis, it's just that it's not a good product to be consuming and the clean keto elite do not believe in eating soy products, soybean oil, canola oil, anything like that. So it's not clean keto and that's why I say it's more of a low carb item. Cause I know if I say if it's dirty keto, somebody's gonna come at me. So I just say it's low yeah. carb. Plus soy is a, a highly processed product. Yeah, and has, like canola and vegetable. It has a photoestrogen in it too, which is the Okay, hormones. Thomas DeLauer, you're talking over my head. Well, it messes with your hormones, they say so. Oh, okay. I have no idea. I just know it's not keto. <laughs> Alyssa wants to know if we have tried shrewd keto dippers. I've not. I've not either. I've not even heard of them. I know of shrewd foods, but I haven't tried dippers. I didn't even know it was a thing. 
but we'll be checking it out. Never even heard of it. So. No. Melissa, besides ice cream, what is your favorite keto snack? Melissa, there is no besides. It's ice cream. <laughs> it's enlightened ice cream and only enlightened ice cream. That's his first true love. I don't know. I mean, snack-wise, that's it, really. It's ice cream and those uh, strawberry-topped uh, fat bombs. But out of all of those, it's always going to be ice cream, right? Always, yeah. Gail, what's going on with the backsplash? Well, there you go, Gail. There is no backsplash. <laughs> take it, just take it. You got what well, you talk uh, about. Four, we're going on four weeks now since the last time I've talked to him and there's been no contact. We've called and reminded to see and he says when he gets a hold of the tall guy and they can fit us in, they will. But there's still several things that need to be done in the kitchen. I want it done, but I'm not freaking out over it at this point because he's still not even asked for the rest of the payment. So, and we're talking a huge chunk. So I know it's going to get done. It's not like they took our money. It's just, obviously it's a crazy time right now. Okay, Nicole wants to know what keto foods work best for you while traveling for work and you're living in hotels. I shop for myself at the grocery stores and cook my food. I take my own cooking appliances with me to uh, to cook. So I have a air fryer. A he has the Kasori air fryer. Big, big cooking skillet that you can just plug in the wall. And other than that, snack wise, I just take meats, cheese. Uh, my bangs, sparkling drinks. I, I used to take all my food with me for the first few weeks. So he cooks everything in the air fryer pretty much mm -hmm. and it works out well for you. So he'll make okay. salmon or he'll make veggies. It's it's doable, isn't it? Yeah, and I always try to stay somewhere where they allow that or at least they have uh, kitchenette units. That way they're not on you for cooking in your room. Okay, Art, which biscuit is better? Carb Quick or Keto Chow? Keto Chow. Keto chow. Hands down. I do. I love the keto chow biscuits. They're so good. Basically though, all it is is almond flour, baking soda, baking powder, I can't remember. And then you put in a scoop of the keto chow, the chicken flavored one, and it gives it like this chicken and a biscuit flavor. It's so good. Maureen wants to know, do you find that the longer you follow keto or low carb, you're not as hungry as before? I do. I don't because I'm never hungry. I'm always head hungry. See, mine's always this mental game, but you have hunger. I mean, but you say when you're on keto and low carb, it goes away. It after does. You're for a while. It, did, yeah. it does with Kerrigan too. She was talking about it not long ago. But honestly, I couldn't even tell you the last time I felt real hunger. My hunger is always right here. Sonia wants to know where we got the jam. We have a place here called Natural Food Market and lucky for us, they carry it for like $5.99. But I'm pretty sure you can pick it up at Amazon also. If you can, I'll link some below, but it is gonna be a lot more. But I've not seen it anywhere else. It's not at any of our grocery stores. It's not at Walmart or anywhere like that. It's the only place we've been able to find it. And it is so good that if we couldn't find it here locally, we would be ordering it from Amazon and paying $9.99. The raspberry is my favorite, so. Kerrigan's is the apricot. Okay, Mary Ann, what mascara do you wear? That is over on my Amazon store. I will link the mascara that I use and it is the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. Joe, does Chris use Perfect Keto Base? Yes, I do. I use the base and the collagen and the MCT oil. He started using the collagen. I've actually pretty much taken care of the cinnamon toast yeah. collagen. You put it in coffee? Is that what you're putting it in? I do. I do a half a scoop of the collagen and a half a scoop of the base. And then like I'll alternate different days and I'll do like an MCT oil and a collagen or a base and an MCT oil. So I, I kind of mix it up to kind of break up that same flavor all the time because the cinnamon toast kind of overwhelms. What is your favorite flavors overall of any of it? Uh, the chocolate, chocolate for the base, the peach is for the base, and I love the cinnamon toast for the collagen. I like the chocolate collagen, it's my favorite. And of course the MCT is basically just chocolate, so. John, is Quincy on the carnivore diet? Well, John, Quincy mm. is our little diva. And he has to eat prescription dog food that costs us about what? Seven dollars a can. That's insanity for a little dog. I mean, he weighs what, seven pounds? He's got a bad belly. He does. 
So it gives us it gave them a lot of trouble. So you, I, they probably you know, they so. probably remember last year we almost lost him. So it's a small price to pay to keep him on a prescription dog food diet. It's a wet dog food. It's a can. So that's what he eats and he gets zero table scraps. None. Laura, what do you do when invited to family members' houses? We don't go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You don't have keto. We can't come. Sorry. No. Um, we have started doing it here. Yes. We invite it, it took, it took us like 25 years. But they finally started coming here for all the events because... It's easier. It is. It's easier for us because we don't have a large family. We have my mom, Chris's mom, and his aunt and uncle. And that's it. I mean, that lives here. Yeah. So it's easier just for them to come to our house instead of us taking our five and then Preston's girlfriend and then Kerrigan's boyfriend. That's seven of us that have to go somewhere. So it's just easier for them to come here. I can just cook everything that's keto and then I'll add some other staples like rolls for them or macaroni salad, mashed potatoes, things like that. Or, so, our, or our moms will bring something. So it's easier if you start having stuff at your house. So what you got there? Ice cream. Have you guys seen this one? I'm going to take it from him. This one is the chocolate glazed donut. Mm -hmm. Yeah, chocolate glazed donut. It's like vanilla ice cream, and then it has these chocolate swirls throughout, although it's not vanilla ice cream. It's glazed donut ice cream and chocolate icing on the inside, it says. There's an art to eating that ice cream. Rebel or that, so. Any keto ice cream. Anybody who eat, eats this knows. You eat the outside edge first because it softens the quickest. That's why you're holding it. That's why you eat. Yeah, so eat, the, eat the edges first and then yeah. work your way to the middle. Exactly. Okay, we answered all of your guys' questions. I've got an entire kitchen to clean up now. There's still cake over there, which I will not be tempted by because my stomach is still churning. I don't like the ice cream. She does. I never eat ice cream. So we're going to go hang out with the kids. Like I said, it's pushing 9 o'clock. Thank you all for hanging out with us today. Thank you. Yeah. And I'm going to assume we will not be eating anymore because he's having his snack right now. I'm done. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. We're opening the advent calendars. Briley's going to go ahead and get to open both. Kerrigan said she could since it's her birthday. Cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese. We love these little things. They are absolutely adorable. Okay, well, let's hear the joke. Oh, that's a long one. Kerrigan, read it. Why didn't a boy get to go on the field trip to the cheese factory? <laughs> His parents didn't sign me permission slip. Permission slip. Uh, uh, but I uh, Okay, let's see what we got in the chalk. Zero. That's a big one. Uh, a present. Thank you so much for watching Chris's journey to weight loss. Make sure you check out some more of my videos before you go, and I will see you next time. Bye.